Manchester United have proved once again what a fantastic drawing card they are. Surely the greatest in the whole of football in Britain. The gates were closed here half an hour before the kickoff, and all reserved seats were sold weeks ago. Now Chelsea, who've won their last four games, still leave out Charlie Cook, and today 100,000 baht Alan Birchenall is the substitute. But they welcome back their midfield star, Peter Osgood. Peter Osgood, a player of grace, elegance and efficiency, wearing number 10. Manchester United have no Bobby Charlton, but they do have back after injury Willie Morgan and Dennis Law, who today is captain. Now Dennis Law, on his day, is one of the sharpest men in the game. The Scottish international has had quite a few good days this season. The referee, Mr George McCabe from Sheffield, refereeing his last match in London unless he gets the cup final because he retires at the end of the season and he's got no other engagements in London. Manchester United wearing the white shorts kick off. A team doing badly in the league. Only two wins in their last nine league games but still rising to the big occasion. And have already, once again, to the semi-final of the European Cup. They have a fantastic record here at Stamford Bridge. They've only lost nine times in 35, 35 visits to Chelsea. Now, Osgood, the ground, very, very sticky indeed. Osgood finding Holland and a corner to Chelsea. The ground staff worked hard on this ground until half past nine last night. Tons of sand have been put on the thick, clinging mud. Tambling to take the corner kick. The Manchester defenders were caught a bit flat-footed that time. You notice when Tamlin floats the ball across, watch Dempsey head it, and the man who really does the damage is Hausmann. There's nobody there to cover him at all. He, he runs onto the scene completely unmarked. He's coming on into the picture now. There he is, and he hits this ball in full stride. He hits it well, but even after Stepney miraculously gets to the ball, look at Fitzpatrick. He should still get this ball away, but he doesn't. He has two left legs, and then Webb turns up on the scene and just rams the ball into the back of the net. 60 seconds gone. Manchester United on a goal down. Well, how Houseman was ever allowed to get that shot in. And then, why the ball wasn't cleared after that great save by Stepney. Joel Harris there close to him. And it's a great save by Benetti for McCready. Well, McCre Benetti won't have a more difficult shot to take than the whole of the match. Kid to take the corner kick. James has gone up, but the man we look for is number 10, Law, in a situation like this, one of the greatest headers of the ball in the country. And it's Law, number 10. There he is. One of the finest jumpers in the whole of the game. How he gets up to some of them is beyond me. Ball is given against Collins. So it's a free kick to Manchester United. Barron to take it. 
Oh, Benetti! Oh, it's going for Benetti. It's really going for him this afternoon to get that rebound from West. Brerin operating without his partner Charlton. Who Styles in trouble? And there's going to and Styles fouled by Houseman. A lot of players are going to get in trouble in that centre circle. It's almost impossible to walk in it. And Sadler got his head to that one, low down though it was. Sadler coming through, making the break from the back. So often he's playing in midfield, but always there when Manchester United have a chance in the opposing penalty area. <laughs> Foul by James on Hutchinson. He kept to Chelsea. Hutchinson. Took it well, this young Ian Hutchinson for Chelsea. Twenty minutes from half time. Chelsea still in the lead, one nil. Goal scored in the very first minute of the match. Raw having to come back and help his defence a bit. It's now with Morgan. It's Law. And he's making a pass from that centre circle is almost impossible. Dunn having a splendid match for Manchester United, watching Tamling so closely. Osgood to take it to Hollins. Is Fitzpatrick not having a very happy afternoon against Houseman? Creron. with that tackle. Free kick to Chelsea. Morgan, best going over to the right. Kid trying to find best. And usually it's Harris looking out the best. That time it was Hollins. Boyle forever bobbing up in free space. A very clever thinking footballer, this boy, Johnny Boyle. Tabby. Hutchinson hit the second goal. He took that beautifully. 28 minutes gone. Ian Hutchinson took that back magnificently. A splendid centre, this by Boyle, but. The man who makes this goal is the youngster, Ian Hutchinson. You'll see him number nine, you can see him just on the left. Now watch him have to check, and he gets hold of the ball, under control, slips it through Sadler's legs, and he still runs on to take the one-two passing movement uh, with Tambling, outpaces everybody else, and scores what really is a fine goal. 
So two goals to nil. Chelsea lead. And this puts Manchester United in quite a little spot of bother. George Best has got to turn on some of the magic. United are going to be rescued now. Law to Kit. Well, that sort of football could well pull back even the two-goal deficit. You can't hit long ones in conditions like this. Duck. Grand kick dumped and racing on. Hopeful return pass. Fitzpatrick across to Crero. left for play and it's a free kick to Manchester United for that foul tackled by McCready on Morgan Sadler to take the free kick Manchester United bringing up almost the entire team Chelsea have got 11 men back Done to Morgan. And there's James. He scored. Oh, that's the way to go on the blind side of them. 31 minutes and Steve James. Not a soul in the world saw him. The more you see this goal, the less you can believe it. This is Morgan putting across the centre. But just count the number of players who missed the ball as it comes across. There's nothing ma magical about this centre at all, but everybody seems to go for it, and the ball just sneaks away from him. It really is incredible that the ball could cross a crowded penalty area like that. Now, you'd think some of the defenders would get it away, wouldn't you? But no, they don't, and James moves on the blind side. He's quicker off the mark than everyone else. Benetti sees him, makes this despairing dive, but James carries on and scores what really is an opportunist goal, but the opportunity should never have been presented. those three goals and this is something about modern football two of the goals two of the three goals have been scored by men who are in the back four the back defensive four so who said modern football was negative now Tamling with a chance of a break but he's offside so no wonder it looks so good for him First two minutes of the minutes of the match. And we're now in the last ten minutes of the first half. Still this indecision in the Manchester defence. Best moving that out to Dunn. 
More Sadler up, up, waiting on the box. Hutchinson coming on the blind side of Styles. Shows you what happens with a quick change of direction. Boyle. Collins. Oh, a fine shot. And that really was on its way to the net. Finding Tambling. There's offside. Backs up. The whistle's gone. going over to take the corner kick it's five minutes from half time and Chelsea have 11 men in their own penalty area and the whistle goes for half time as the United fans chant Dennis is the king Two goals to one, Chelsea in the lead. There's number nine in Hutchinson who got the second Chelsea goal. An exciting enough first half. Two of those three goals scored by defenders. Chelsea, the all dark strip to kick off the second half. The way the defences have been forced into errors, we can we'll see many more goals than three in the second half. United carrying the game to Chelsea. They did most of the time in the first half. Corner kick to Manchester United. Morgan to take this one. Again, Chelsea bringing back 11 men. They take no risks at all. Kid to Morgan. And Morgan. Well, they 
Chelsea defence in a real old spot of bother now, and James! Steve James, in white shorts, came into the side, the Manchester side this season. He's played extraordinarily well. Everybody talking about Manchester United having to pay about £120,000 for a centre-half, and then they find one in their own reserve side. Trailing to one. Ricket, Webb, Marling, Kidd. Dunn to take the free kick. Again, Chelsea with 11 men back. can play havoc with players skills Shadow. 
There is a wonderful tackler. Fitzpatrick. Chelsea team and the Chelsea fans. Well, to those who say it wasn't the penalty, one can only make the old cliche of a reply look in the morning paper. George Best caught legs then. Three 
two. Chelsea. I wouldn't forecast the result. seems to be a houseman. Hutchinson, oh, he almost did it. A beautiful one dropped by that near post. Splendid effort by Ian Hutchinson, number nine of Chelsea. Boyle with the corner. Obviously not to Mr. Styles' liking. Somebody might have a dip from that distance. Webb's gone up, so too has Dempsey. Harris, Osgood. And Webb! I think it's offside anyway. Yes, it is indeed offside. minutes ticking away it's Manchester United no more great covering by Webb brilliant bit of work by the number two of Chelsea this 
throw to Stiles. Wonderful game, Stamford Bridge. Wonderful League Cup must have been Wembley with in extra time. Rogers, the League Cup, in the second, the last three seasons that a third has won. And yet, Wyndon were on the for most of the match. Arsenal played brilliant in the first half. Defensive, allowed smart, dip in and score for after 35. Minutes. In the second, it was all out. Only Peter in goals, it's Swindon. And then from the end, Gould nipped it, equalised, it was extra time. And along comes Don Rock to add some poundage to his fee and get the wonderful goals of Gibbons victory. So, Swindon. And the league matches, Liverpool of the clubs, they had a come nil win at some St. John scoring the goal. And so they've got the gap at the top of the division to six. Now that Bill Shankly point that they need only one hustle during the week and then beat at Anfield on the and two points leads with hand. Positive. What are the cups in West Bromwich? Five regular went to Berlin, two each. Tony Brown got to their goal. And their opponents at Hillsborough, the City, a goalless draw to Oak City, anti relic battle. Everton didn't play there. Next opponents, Manchester dropped another name in the coffin of Park Rangers. Led at time by an early goal by Leach, then Manchester robbed home in half, getting through one of them, 18 year old Ian. And so at the bottom, Queen Rangers really look doomed. That's an unfortunate name among the fighters, isn't it? Manchester United. Second division like Derby and Cardiff and all 1 1 as Mill did last night at Middlesbrough 3 0. Still a very tight position at the top of the division. Happiest on the sixth, uh, player day was Colin of Rangers. He scored against Clyde and was then off. And an event exciting day of soccer. And it's still an exciting race too for this league prior player year. You remember one the readers there at football as talking football. The leaders first, Johnny Johnson of Blackpool. Second, Emily of Liverpool in almost every week. And third, Levesey of Wrexham. So that's been for the week. An exciting day today, and we it's an exciting Saturday. We'll be back with the match of the day, one of the semi-finals. So until then...